tuned in for a brand new episode of Reality Rap. Now let's get this thing started with a brand new episode of Marriage Bootcamp Reality Stars. Okay, so this week, after all that drama happened last week, we're right back with Tara and Dean. Y'all are both in the doghouse. Cause basically y'all are saying y'all wanna end the relationship and the boot camp ain't even over. Y'all only got one day left. Y'all can't handle each other for 24 more hours. Just go, I'm over them. How y'all do last night? It was a disaster. Kept cutting me off, cutting me off, cutting me off, cutting me off. You're like, you don't even treat an animal like that. You don't wanna go to the Terra Crazy Train. That train leaves the building really no. easily. You go nuts and I've never wanted to get out so badly. That's it then. Much stress. So this week is the famous lie detector test challenge. We look forward to this every season. And basically the couples get to ask each other the dying questions they want to know about each other. Of course, Lorenzo asked British, if I wasn't an athlete and have all this money, would you still be with me? Um, randomly, Adam asked Lisa, has she ever been with another woman? I don't know how that's a deal breaker. I just think he wants to know if she's a real freak or not. So I think he got some freaky alternative motives. <laughs> And of course, Tara and Dean, like, I just don't get them. They act like those siblings from Cruel Intentions more than they do as a couple. They don't even have anything they want to ask each other. Oh, I don't trust him. Oh, she doesn't let me be who I am. Bitch, that's stuff that friends and siblings argue about. So the lie detector test revealed. Would you be with Lorenzo if he were poor? You answered yes. And the lie detector indicated that there was no deception. Have you had sexual contact with a female? Please say yes. Your answer was yes, and yeah, you did. So basically tonight, the couples get to go out as singles. Girls night, guys night. Clearly the only person I really expect to turn up tonight is Tara, but as we see, she doesn't. Lisa kinda got a little loose a little bit. Michelle got a little loose. Toy was chilling. Thank God Lisa did not kiss that chick because not only did it look like her breath stink, her nails was dirty. Did y'all see that? Now over here on the other side, guys night out was totally lit. It means turn up to level 100. But shout out Mistress was out here sucking on girls fingers. And you know she done dug up her nose, dug her hair, dug in her ass for all we know. That is Rose. Paul Adam, you can tell he don't get out much. He in here in the club telling his whole life story to these girls. Adam, he's having all sensitive conversation with the girls. I don't know what he's doing. Oh my God, a different side of Dr. Doom. I'm like, no, you married, fool. Filling them up, kissing on their arm. He's even begging the men to let him bring one of these girls from the club home. I can't wait to see what this turns out to be next week on the season finale of Marriage Boot Camp. Cause some of y'all gonna get addressed. <laughs> Let's keep the social conversation going, guys. Use the hashtag Marriage Boot Camp. And as always, I'm your host, Mr. Ray. See you next week.